Hey everyone, let's do a price prediction stock analysis on Palantir PLTO. First of all, first and foremost, for all disclosure, we own in our family portfolio uh, some Palantir. If you go on the day trading zones channel, headers for this entry and exit price prediction analysis. If you look here carefully on the 200K game plan 2024. On day trading zones, we were showing you we had Palantir. So we do own the stocks on Palantir. I think it's a great project. Um, Palantir has been dipping lately. I think you should take advantage of the dip. First of all, before we go charts, I always recommend people to look at Seeking Alpha articles. Always a great idea to see other people's perspective on the analysis, the stock, the fundamentals, you know, their cash on hand, their return on equity, you know, be be uh, someone that just not go into charts, but look also at stats, you know, what is the revenue growth? You know, what's the return on equity? What's the cash on end? What's the debt in the balance sheet? Th th those stuff, you always want to do that before you go to charts. That being said, let's look at Palantir. First of all, if Palantir here was a fantastic buy uh, last year, you know, in May, a deep like around five if you look at the probability power calculator and i do a replay you are going to see like right there at the bottom of the replay look at the stats we had an 88 percent chance of success on Palantir, and we started with our family at the bottom of the box remember very easy blue you buy at the bottom of the edges here and the edge of the calculator on the right those are patented indicators that have a unique design. And you had 88% chance of making money by Palantir here at 640, right? So, and the, the idea is you divide boxes and ranges by rule of third, one third, one third, one third, which means at the bottom, you have a 66% chance of making money by buying the bottom. If you chase the top, you have only 33% chance of making money chasing the longs, okay? So, it's all about stats. It's all about visually approaching your investments and your swing trading, right? So that you have the highest probability of success. So now, fast forward, right? We are at the top of the blue box, which is still an okay area, but it's not the best area, especially if you look at the right box, 61% chance, right? So. Palantir right now becomes really interesting in this level, this, this 14.5, you know, 17 area, because if you put a structure line, always put your structure line as well. So you, you have your trend line, you know, like this. You have your upper channel, you know, and everybody's different on how you do your, your trend lines, but you do them like that. Obviously, we are making higher highs and higher lows on Palantir and probably going to go towards the 24.5 at one point. So I think here you're in a accumulation phase on Palantir. It's not as good, obviously, as the 11, 11, 16, right? But anything around that, you know, 14, 16, 17 here, I, I would I would, I would accumulate patiently, you know, those sell-off. Sorry, like here. You had an opportunity here. They went to 21 and they started selling off. And that down channel, well, if it hits here, this 15, 17, keep on buying. It's 1637. I think this is an AI play as well, you know. Uh, government, it's government contracts, mostly. Uh, that's not going anywhere with the world that we live in. It's a uh, uh, military contract. It's a uh, security contract. It's data mining. It's AI. So I think this is still a play that goes at 24, right? And if we do break the 24, 25, we have a 32 target. So if you look at it here, the perspective of what I see right now with the probability power indicators, the 2532 is very durable target on Palantir. And that would be a 100% almost, so that'll be a 50% to 
to a 100% return on investment on your money. And look, if you look at all time edges, it would be a 175% return. So it's all about stats. It's all about pressure, right? I want to see also the buyer pressure coming back, net seller, net buyer coming back into the, the mix here because if you look at the power trend, look, I, I want to see this short-term trend box in our tools and our trading view indicators to have net buyers here, net buyers here, net buyers here, institutional net buyers, major net buyers, minor retail net buyers. So that changes the box on up, right? To prepare the turn from that channel back on the upper channel, okay? But look, big fan of the project. I think 14, 16 here, you know, it's a nice accumulation phase for your 25, 32 target. Hope it helps, don't forget also, um, you seeing is believing. You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. You can try our entire suite uh, of indicators for TradingView that are very unique in the world. This is patented here. Already we have trademark and copyright. You get the scanners, you get the probability rule of third, box one, box two, plus the alerts at the top, net seller, net buyers. You have also another four indicators that comes with it. Money back guarantee, try them, 30 days, nothing to lose, right? Everything to gain. And also, also, if you are interested, the left box, we have a light version for swing trading and long-term investing that is absolutely free. If you're in the US, Canada, just shoot us a text at 954-758-8145 to join the community and get the link and the access to the free probability rule of third here light version you'll get a lighter version than the premium but it's super powerful and super helpful and it's free <laughs> again 954-758-8145 watch the description in the video below it's there for you to grab okay see you in the next price prediction and analysis video take care everyone stay safe